What's up guys, today I'm bringing you episode 2 for doing the objective work series. This is my new series, if you haven't seen episode 1 then go check it out, it's on my channel. I'll also leave it in the description if you haven't seen it yet. So what I do is I explain how to play the objective and what I do and stuff like that. So as you can see right there I was cutting them off so they couldn't get to B. They couldn't capture it. So I make my team push for B, but as you know, my team is all rubbish. Even their team is rubbish. So I end up try capping C, but that doesn't work. And as you can see, that we're losing B. They're taking it. They're going to take it, but no, my team gonna kill them. And as you can see, I'm cutting them off. So look, as you as you can see, my player didn't die from B. The reason if my player is dead from B, they can cap it. If my player is still on B, then it's gonna stay as contested. And, it, and they won't be able to cap it until they kill him off the flag. Uh, you know, UA, same kill streaks I was using from the same one. I was using the UAV, Hellstorm and Lightning Strike. But they've nerfed the Lightning Strike. So uh, I'm going to change it the next, next one. Because the Lightning Strike is now delayed by 6 seconds. I think it's 6 or 5 seconds in the new patch update that they did. They also nerfed a few little guns, which, you know, you can go check them out yourself. The MSMC and the PDW, you know, they, they made them more recoil. So when you shoot, your gun's going to go, your gun's gonna go up. So anyway, we lost B right now. But, you know, the good of me, I take it again. Because my team sucks. I actually did get most caps and most defense in this game. And the other game as well. And that was a stupid move on me, you know, but it's not my fault, it's Black Ops 2, you know, the spawns will never be perfect, the spawns are always going to suck because they can't fix it because they are shit, they don't even know how to fix the spawns, I always die, I always get spawned near an enemy, and look, as you see, I call it on B, so they can't even take it, as you can see right now, we've only got B, because of me, otherwise there were the triple captors right there. Anyway, guys, uh, leave a like and uh, leave a, tell me if you like this series. Tell me what other game modes you want to see for this series. You know, I'm gonna carry this series on for a long, long time. And you know, as you can see right now, I'm still cutting them off. You can see I'm taking them off B straight away. We were actually caught A, I think it's A or C. I didn't even got a clue. Yes, yeah, C. Caught that one, we're losing B. I go back on it, but my teammate kills him. He's actually in the corner. I like that spot because you can actually cap it from there. You know, I'm in a hard point you can do. Oh, yeah, I'm on about a hard point. Sorry. This is actually domination on Yemen. And I don't even know why it's called Yemen, but yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, One thing I forgot to tell you guys last, uh, last, last week. If you stay near the flag and if you kill them off it, you act that that's a defend, and I think you get extra hundred points for your score streak. So you will be getting your score streak quicker than you would normally do. And this guy's an idiot because he didn't even cancel his tactical insertion, so I just kept killing him. That's a, he does it again. He comes to the same spot and I actually kill him from it. So yeah. We lose C my team is not doing anything. They're not doing no objective work, they're just camping in buildings. I have to kill them all. We we lose Bravo, but I take it because I was the best player in the game. I should I was the most valuable player in this game. As you can see, they're at C, so I'm staying at C to cut them off, so they can't even cap it because oh well, we have got A, but you know I don't want, I really really don't want A, and and I walk past this guy. I didn't even see him until I came back, and he comes back same time as well. And then I got bomb raped here because it came from behind me and then there's a guy in front of me so it's a bit stupid. But yeah the spawns are never good in this game. Never ever the spawns have been perfect. You know Moral Warfare 3 let's go back into that. Everyone knows the spawns were shit on that game. Everybody knows. Black Ops 2 spawns are okay. They're not as bad as Moral Warfare 3 but they are still bad. You know but that's what, that's what every card is like. Every card they make Starting few weeks, the game sucks, dog, game just shit, 
and we actually win the first round. But they actually take, they actually triple cap us here for a bit in the second round and we start losing. But being me, being the objective player, we actually win by three points at the end. It was actually 164 to 161. So three points we actually win by. You know, because my team weren't doing anything. They were just camping in buildings, not even killing them off the flags. And they, when the guy was shouting, we're losing B. And if you guys didn't know that you can actually turn off the guy that says that, you just got to go in options, um, options and voice volume and turn that all the way down. That is the voice volume for the thing. I think, I'm not sure. It's either that one or it's the game one. But someone re please uh, recorrect me in comments section. See, he comes back, kill him again. You know, he didn't even cancel his thing. That's, you know, I, I, I would always cancel it because I watch my kill cams, but I don't even use tactical insertion. So, yeah, I can't really relate to it. But, yeah, I think that was two stupid moves by him because if he cancelled it, he wouldn't be dead. And, yeah, in, in domination, you really need to keep B. If you keep B, then that's it. It's game over unless you have a strong team, solid team that is able to pick up B again. If you're not, then you, you got to keep B for the whole game. You know, because as soon as, soon as the other team's got B, it's going to be hard to get it back because everyone, everyone stays on B. To A and C are the most easiest flags to cap because B is in right in the center of the map. It's in, it's in the center. A and C are at the other side spawns. And you know you gotta do, you gotta get B. As you can see, I'm here right now, get trying to get B, but I know there's enemies there. But I eventually do jump on it, and I sit here waiting to cap it because I'm the objective player, rather than my team sucks. See, I'm cutting them off even again, and that guy is just blind. I'm on the floor and he never even saw me. Call, call B, and then he got me after. I think that was a wrong way for me. I should have went inside alleyway bit. Should have went in there. It would have been a lot, lot better for me because, you know, I would have won. I would have won. Yeah, guys, don't challenge many gunfights. If you have a sub machine, sh sub machine gun and you're and the other guy's on the other, other side of the map with a assault rifle or sniper, don't even bother to challenge it because you 95% of the time, let me recorrect that, 99.9% .9 of the time you are going to die. That's how most people lose their gunfights. You know, if someone is far away, then don't challenge them, run away. Go flank him and try to get back to him. As you can see, I tried to run away, but he came back and looked out the window and got me. Because he's head glitching, so he's obviously going to win. Oh yeah, guys, one more thing. Actually, a couple more things, but yeah. Uh, what's it called? Yeah. So, Thursday, I'm going to be doing the League Play series. I uh, hope you stay tuned for that. And I hope you like that as well. But yeah, this commentary is coming to an end. But I have a few more things to talk about, so we'll carry on talking. And guys, don't run straight in the middle of the map. Go, go flank them. Go around the map because you don't. You want to stay around the map, outside of the map. You don't want to stay inside because inside that's where most of the gunfights are. And you want to kill people who are slipping. You know, you want to catch them off guard who are not on guard, as these two here. But I only got one of them. As the other guy was probably on guard. That's when you staying off map, you're gonna get them off guard because they're just gonna spawn right in front of you or the side, you're gonna see them, you're gonna shoot them. But if someone's on guard, you're probably gonna lose a gunfight. So it's better to stay outside the map and yeah, you're gonna win more. As you can see, look, we're actually losing here. But I can't be and we actually win the game. We actually win this end of the game. So yeah, guys, the commentary is coming to an end. I want to say please leave a like, comment, favorite as well and also hit that subscribe button. Take care guys.